Hello, Jamalov here and welcome back to Factorio, where after 7 hours of building, this is what I have. Last time I was looking for more copper ore, I was running out of that and I was also uh, um, improving my transport belt systems with the splitter component, uh, which is uh, working nicely. Um, Everything is being produced, no problems there. But uh, while I wait for the copper production to really ramp up as with the new ore coming in, I might need to go look for more. I will set up a transport belt system, building these uh, fast transport belts and quite soon also the blue ones which I am uh, at the moment researching. And um, I will leave this here, the green, green, uh, green trans, uh, green science packs. And I will take my supply of transport belts here. Somewhere in there I will build it. Let's go under these ones. So that's the supply of transport belts. Mm. I would be probably better off putting iron and iron gear wheels in the same same belt instead of supplying the missiles and these ones from the other side. On the other hand, since I have done it this way, these also need the iron. So it's uh, kind of kind of set up that way. Right tonight. I could of course set up a new new system for the belts. Well, maybe first thing I will do is uh, fill this up and uh, build more of them. So they are using the iron gear wheels. You can have them from there. Don't really need to here. Even that it's in theory at least a little bit improves the speed. So you will take it from there. You will build belts and you will output it to that belt. Now if I continue this belt a bit upwards. And the same thing with these ones some iron here I would really like to use. Hmm. Maybe I will strip mine that's before I before I do anything. Let's build assembling machine tools. And what I will do here is build more of these belt production machines and at least some of them will start filling other side of this belt. So how will that happen is Oh, it's a lamppost. Okay. So when I come from this side, now I will always need that one there. And now it will work. Anything produced up here, put here, it will fill the right side of the belt uh, from looking at this angle anyway. Those are still being produced, so I can prepare by putting these in place. So, picking the gear, picking the gear, picking the gear, output, 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 
input, input, input. Now they are done. Right. Power. Power. Research complete. Oh, really? And that was the logistics free. So now I have railroads, I have cars, alien technology. I'm, I'm saving that because that takes a lot of time. I guess I might as well put, um, put the railway in motion. It, it'll be a quite some time before I, before I get that far. But, uh, and it won't be that far when I have researched everything apart from the alien technology ones that required alien artifacts. So now we are getting a lot more transport belts. This output belt of the transport belts, that's a lot of belts, is filling up both sides of it. And uh, it will go here as well, where I don't anymore need this smart system here. Did I actually pick up the... when I removed it like that? No. The green green wire that I had here is gone. What was that flicker? For a moment I thought we were running out of... Yeah, actually we were. Alright. It always flickers a bit. When the lasers are on because they draw so much power. And the water temperature is decreasing here again. Why is that? It's actually this one. Yeah, these are. This is not not very optimal optimal setup. All right, so it was just uh, just for a moment there, for a very brief moment out of power. Anyway, now I have plenty of belts. And uh, I will do the same thing for the iron gears because I will need tons of them when I start creating a lot of the, lot of the faster belts. And let's build some assembly machines, and I think I will do a similar thing here. So right about here I will mm, so similar setup as in there, but that's actually vice versa. So it will be here, here, like that. No, like that. And then anything produced up here will go to the other side. The more efficient way would be to have the assembly plants on both sides of that one. And let's upgrade these ones to fast. That will help as well. I will build another assembly plant here in between. There. And then I will build more. Here and here. And I will need more of these supplies like that and those ones. And I think the assembly plants are done, yes. There. And to improve the, uh, improve the input for this, I will use the splitter here. Right there. And that one will be fast as well. I don't think this one is needed. 
Um, actually, this one is not needed either. Well, let's keep it there. I have a similar setup on the other, other place as well, so it kind of acts as a. No, but I don't want. I don't want it to do it like that. I want it to. Yeah, it's it's not needed. The splitter is doing it as long as the input has enough of it. The splitter will be enough. It's kind of a decision. Do you want to do the? Uh, do you want to make sure there's enough on both sides of the belt? Um, in the where the pr production is done, or do it? Do you do it for the where it's used? I forgot to set these ones up. So now those are working. That should start filling the belt up, and that is complete. No, it's exactly like it should be. Never mind. These ones output to the outer side. Good. Okay, now we should have plenty of raw materials for uh, for the belts. Now I need to take the gears all the way. All the way here, somewhere in here, I will have the production for it. Belts. And then. So these ones use transport belts and gear wheels. Those use. Okay. A lot of iron gear wheels. Splitter can do it here. Mm, let's leave this one, two, three, four, five, six in between. One, two, three, one, two, three, six, or somewhere in there. So it's good enough for that kind of production. And if I split this one here, like that. The gears. Is here as well. But I will of course run them here. If I need to continue, they would go there. Need more of the underground belts. Oh yeah, I don't have enough belts, I don't have enough of these. And I'm also running out of raw iron. I need to run and get that. I have the pickup system here, so I will go there and pick it up and then go back. And things are flashing because of the electric usage. Right, let's pick up plenty of these again. I also need copper, so I will pick it from here for the manual crafting. Yeah, it's, uh, when the lasers are active, these these run a bit. There's a bit of improvement there, so I do need to set up a new ele new electric plant soon-ish. If I need to continue with the implant, I really don't. But if I need to, they would go under. So we will hmm. 
do that again. I want it, I want it nice and neat. So one, two, three, one, two, three. This will be. See if I need to continue with that. This direction that will be continuing here. Those ones will come from here. Those ones will come from here. Might as well make it on that level. All right. So then the belts will come down here. Here wheels will come down from here. They will combine. So the split is actually done there. This turns down. The split is done there. You continue. Let's pick up the extras. Now you will combine your things here. Simply machines. Now let's make them on this side. Then bring over electricity. here bring to no not like that's not like that um, the idea was to um, yeah you gone stick you there like that it's not connected from there so it will fill up this side and then it will work correctly idea being that iron gear wheels will come here into this line automatically and we can have one two three of those Right about there. Let's power these up. These will build the express belts. Yes. And then the outputs there, there, and there. Perfect. Now we will. Build a couple of smart chests here. Do I have any smart inserters? Not much. 
there's, uh, there's plenty of bottlenecks in this production at the moment. Also want some light here, I think. Yes. Mm. Smart inserters. Mm. Do I want to ramp this up? Well, I will move this if I do. So you will be there. You will be there. There will be... Power for you. Mm, one, two. Let's make it from red one on the other side. So you will pick up blue ones. You will pick up red ones. Wire tear smaller than you will collect two hundred of those. This will take a long time to fill. Chest green wire from the electric post to the chest, and now that will collect the red wire just to. Separate these from each other. We'll also collect some of these red ones. Let's make that 200 as well. So as long as there's not over 200 of these you will collect. The smart chest will know how to collect. Electric post, connect to the chest and that's done. And now, uh, now I need tons of everything. The belt production seems to be okay because this own always used just one belt, but five iron gear wheels and then fifteen. So the express transport belts are extremely expensive. Um, at the moment, I'm bottlenecking with copper production. And because of that in electric circuits. And looks like actually the system actually needs some improvement here. Hmm. So how, how will I be able to take enough iron from this to keep this belt running even if it's say fast belts I will actually do that I will I will make this a fast one while I'm thinking I will build more of them research complete already so that was railroad. So I might as well uh, research the logistics robots. I'm not going to look into them just yet. Like that. There's plenty, plenty of iron comes through. So I guess what I can do is. Um, I split it once more in here, maybe. Do it like this. Hmm. Now, if I do it one step further here, this is. Um, This is where this kind of setup, this kind of set some setup bottlenecks when uh, all iron I'm producing is coming from one line, and then uh, 
comes matter of how fast I can know. How fast I can take it. Take it to these production lines. Of course, uh, making these express belts will help and making these ones faster, that will help. And uh, all kinds of... Uh, all kinds of things there. Yeah, but this uh, this factory in total is already a uh, already producing quite a bit. Okay, so five is yeah. This setup is now giving some iron already to the last one, but there's still uh, still room room for improvement there. Hmm. Now this, as as long as that production is ongoing, I can already see that not much iron is making it making it past this point. So now uh, producing so many of these here, that will move the bottleneck for the electric circuits because they are not getting a uh, getting enough iron. So it's kind of a balancing act, really. And thinking of it, I think I will. I will remove this splitter here. No, actually I won't remove that splitter, but it won't take it there. It will it will feed this one instead. Right? Yeah. This one here isn't working very well with that because it's putting it in the middle while this one is. Mm. Yeah, why don't you just forget about it? This amount of this amount of iron production I have on going at the moment, <laughs> even even with this, I'm not producing enough iron. And uh, from my, uh, I have 25, 25 that are producing iron only for iron usage, and then there's five that is produ producing steel if steel is needed. The belt is not full. So in a way, 30 iron smelters doing iron, uh, mostly mostly getting getting enough iron. They are not all active, but almost. So uh, producing producing a almost yellow belt full of iron. There's just maybe one iron plate in between that could fit in there, and that is almost all of it used for iron gear production. Uh, as long as this uh, belt production is active, but of course now when I at the end of this created that smart system that uh, it collects 200 of the of the blue belts and 200 of the of the red belts, which isn't it isn't much. I don't even want to think how many, how many belts this uh, this system will eventually take. But uh, as soon as there's enough enough of these here, the, um, the production will stop, and uh, this uh, will fill. Uh, the belt will be filled with uh, 
iron gear wheels and then it will uh, stop stop using so much iron and then the, it will move forward from there and so on so uh, in the meanwhile while i'm getting those belts that i can soon use to other things i can um, i can look into other things that need need more for example i will ramp up the missile production it takes a long time to craft one and uh, right i have the inserters there i still have plenty and i want to see what other what other things i kind of want to set up to uh automated building uh, so that i am collecting them automatically and i will look into those next time i will keep this video shorter uh, half an hour um half an hour because i well i need to end recording and i think this was a uh, nice nice and short one just producing these ones and not not getting into too many things too many things uh too many things at once so um yeah i will continue from here right now i'm thinking more missiles mm, keep an eye on that iron production I will need to build a, well actually I think I will build more solar panels so that it saves a bit of coal from this because this is uh, at some point running out of coal to keep these boilers boiling and um, there were those nice big chunks of iron ore and uh, things like that uh, pretty near this place so i will tap into the raw resources i need a lot more copper uh, even at the moment when the, when the copper belt is nearly full still uh, these ones are inactive so i need to have more and more and more copper running the belt so those will those will stay active but i'm i'm already already producing a lot of stuff i'm kind of near the end game because the last thing you can research are the ones that require the purple science packs which are the alien science packs and for those you just need to kill the aliens and um i'll i will soon have soon have everything researched the logistics are researched at the moment it doesn't even require the blue ones and then uh, i can um, research the uh, automobile and uh, built myself a car and uh, i have the railroad components now i can start building those i haven't really looked into those so interesting maybe maybe i could set up a railroad assembly plant put giving me raw materials for the railroad and then i can build a railroad around this uh, around this world or, or something so uh, plenty of things still to do even that the research is kind of uh, getting closer to the end and of course there will be more attacking on the alien bases as i go on because i want those alien science packs and uh, also well because it's fun so uh, right a bit of explanation there on things to come and um, right I'll uh, I'll see you on the next video and uh, do tell me what you are, what you think about this series, what uh, what I should do uh, if uh, if I have again uh, missed something, <laughs> missed something here. Do tell me and uh, I will uh, do my best to uh, fix it, fix it again on the next video. Right. Until next time. Take care. Bye bye.